What's up guys, uh, David here. I wanted to do a really quick video um, about something that I'm really uh, passionate about these days and I'm really digging into, uh, which is longevity, life extension, um, and the idea that uh, we really have to take control over our health. Um, and that, you know, people, average people can uh, really um, dig into and understand how our body works and um, and you know it's almost like a savings account where you know every day you can make small deposits and at the end towards the end of life you can really kind of extend and live a really great life because you've made better decisions early on and one of the topics that I just came across um, and I've been kind of thinking through but I just kind of read another um, another couple of publications on over the past weekend uh, was the idea of autophagy. Now, autophagy is a really exciting idea in longevity, and um, it it actually won um, the scientist who really pioneered what we know as autophagy today and how it works, um, how it fu functionally works. His name was uh, Yashinori Osh Osumi, and he um, he won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2016. So this is really recent. Um, he won it because of his findings on autophagy. And the, the, the Greek meaning for autophagy is actually self-eating. Um, and the, what, it, what it represents is that, um, or what it describes is a function in your cells um, the way that your cells work when you're young is your cells turn over more and more quickly. Your cells are born and then they die more quickly. Um, and as we get older, our cells don't die as quickly. Um, and that's why, you know, our, you know, our skin gets more wrinkly. Um, and that's why, you know, we, uh, my, our muscle doesn't grow as quickly. Um, or that's why it might be harder for us to stay in shape, and that's why it's more important for us to stay in shape and eat healthier as we get older. At any rate, basically the idea behind autophagy is that it's a recycling system for your cells. So uh, as, it, as your cells, you know, when you eat and you do different things um, and cells are created, um, if they don't die, there are you know, things that are left inside of the cells. Um, kind of just junk left inside the cells. And autophagy is this process by which your cells kind of um, clean out that junk. Um, and it's this whole process. I'm not, um, I'm not a scientist, so I can't really describe it, but what's really exciting about it is that we can uh, do things to impact how autophagy functions in our cells. So uh, the things that can increase the rate of autophagy are... For example, exercise, when you, you exercise, your cells clean themselves out, or fasting. So when you fast, your cells clean your, themselves out. Um, or even um, things like eating certain types of food increases autophagy. Uh, and I believe maybe even decreasing, um, decreasing the amount that you eat on an ongoing basis, calorie restriction as they call it, um, also um, uh, increases autophagy. So... Um, to to kind of end it, uh, basically uh, autophagy is a um, it's a mechanism by which our cells renew themselves and stay clean. And what that means is that overall we're healthier. We clean out cancerous cells. We clean out cancerous parts of cells. Um, we clean out the junk in our cells that make us unhealthy. And so that's a really exciting thing. And it can potentially, if we can keep autophagy consistent, it means we can live healthier for longer. So that's the one thing I kind of came across that I think is really exciting. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more of a technical post about how autophagy actually works. But again, I'm really passionate about fitness. I'm really passionate about self-directed fitness. And I want to start doing posts um, that relate to that. Uh, because I think that a lot of people don't feel like or, or don't know enough about how they can truly take control of their health and live healthier uh, in spite of, you know, in spite of feeling like, you know, they have to go to the gym or they have to be on a certain diet. When you know exactly how your body actually works, then 
you won't run from fad diet to fad diet or you won't feel like you know you have to work out every single day um, the idea is that you want to live healthy and you want to live sustainably and um, that's something I'm really digging into and the company one of the companies actually I'm building uh, will be working around um, so thanks so much for listening guys and uh, I will talk to you guys soon take care